How's it going? This is Hoyman, and this week has been okay. So for the majority of the week, I've just been working on my book, and this week I've gone through chapters two to halfway through seven. So I suppose quite a bit of progress, but it's still going quite slow, and due to my lack of concentration. I only worked on only a few pages each day, but still I find I feel that it's still an achievement for me since it's very difficult to work with mental health and stuff. Other than that, it's pretty much been raining all week, just like the news said. So I've pretty much just been in the house most of this week and just kind of. Haven't really got too much done, really. I mean, I worked on my book and I did organise my room a bit, but other than that, not really a whole lot of stuff that I did this week. So my mood has been pretty low this week. So last week I mentioned that I had some ups and downs and felt a little bit better than. Two weeks ago, but this week has largely been about the same. But there have been a few days where my mood has just dropped quite a bit, especially yesterday, where pretty much for the whole day I was just feeling really low and really unmotivated, and just felt really negative in myself, and just couldn't help but have a lot of negative thoughts, negative thoughts about myself. Even doing things that I try to enjoy, I just had a lot of negative negativity towards it. So I suppose it's just one of those days I was going through, which wasn't all that great. But the only solution to help it is to to just let the mood pass, really. So that's pretty much what I did. I just kind of isolated myself in my room, and then just. Let the mood pass, and yeah, I think overall today I'm feeling a bit better. Not feeling as negative as I was yesterday, but overall I'm still feeling pretty low for the most part. So this week hasn't really been all that great in terms of my mood. Nothing really comes to mind. Well, I am actually. Expecting a call from my GP to go have my second vaccine jab. Since I had it in mid March, it's about time that I got my second jab. I mean, my mum got hers just this week, and I got mine shortly after she got her first. So, I am expecting a call from my GP next week. If not next week, then maybe the week after. It's not really something. That I'm really looking forward to all that much, just because the first time I had the jab, I got quite a severe fever and felt not great. Really, felt really lightheaded and really hot and bothered. And these are common symptoms with getting getting the vaccine for some people. So more than likely, I'll get those symptoms again for the next vaccine. But um. Yeah, I suppose I'll just have to kind of struggle through it, and hopefully it ends up working against the COVID virus, really. And now to answer your questions from my last video. So Sigma Enterprise asks me, "Do you watch anime? What's your favorite anime?" So for those who don't know what anime is, it stands for Japanese animation, and it's basically Japan's equivalent for cartoons. So growing up in the nineties, some of my earliest memories is actually from anime, which my brother used to watch quite a lot, and these include the Gaiver OVA and Dragon Ball Z. So those two series have a very special place in my heart, but overall, I wouldn't say I'm like a massive anime fan or anything. I don't really watch a whole lot of anime. I just never 
really gotten into them that much. There have been various other animes that I've grew up and got to like, such as Beyblade, Yu-Gi-Oh! And now currently my main anime that I watch now is the Pre-Cure or Pretty Cure series. So I generally like the animes that are aimed towards more the younger audience. Since I've never really been that keen on the more mature sort of settings for anime. I've just never really been into the fan service stuff and just really mature sort of settings and stories really. So I kind of stick to the more younger audience for the anime since those shows usually bring a smile to my face and usually does cheer my mood up as well whenever I watch it, especially the Pretty Cure series. So in terms of some of my favourite anime, I suppose, like I already said, the Gaiva OVA and Dragon Ball Z have a special place in my heart. But other animes that I consider my favourite, I suppose, are Beyblade, Detective Conan and the Pretty Cure series. So I guess that's pretty much it for this week. So hopefully I'll see you next Saturday. That's it for this video. My name is Hoyman and please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And remember, always look forward, keep hope alive and remember you're somebody.